Happy Friday. Lots of excitement this week at the Flood City Youth Fitness Academy as the Academy and UPJ teamed up and introduced a new STEM program. Joined by local officials and Flood City Youth Academy staff and students, UPJ President Dr. Jem Spector got the crowd fired up, telling children he sees a smart, successful, thriving community through them. The after-school program will focus on math, engineering, science, technology, and coding skills presented in a fun and engaging partnership with UPJ. Bottleworks Ethnic Arts Center this week announced more than $1 million in state and local grants to help with the preservation and renovation of the iconic Tulip Building and creation of an outdoor pavilion and classroom. Congratulations to JWF Industries President and CEO Bill Palachek, one of 50 business leaders recognized at the 2022 Smart 50 Awards presented by Smart Business Magazine. Palachek was awarded the Sustainability with Smart Business Award, noting his succession planning to ensure the continued success of JWF's customers, employees, and community. And big news for Kongsberg Defense and Aerosmith Space, who this week announced a nearly $1.5 billion contract for the continued delivery of its remotely commonly operated weapon stations called Crows. Kongsberg employees have delivered more than 18,000 of these systems over 17 years to all branches of the U.S. military. Our thanks to Professor Skip Glenn and his UPJ marketing students who have spent the semester helping the chamber. The class focused on two main areas, how to engage young professionals and how to better reach and serve chamber members in in all parts of the county. Senator Wayne Langerholk hosted a breakfast for area veterans this week at East Hills Recreation on the Penn Highlands campus. I certainly a well-deserved recognition. Thanks to our friends at Anthony's Restaurant for their kind contribution. And speaking of veterans, the Johnstown Generals hockey team will be honored by the Pittsburgh Penguins at their game on Saturday. Also, congratulations to St. Vincent de Paul who raised $41,000 for a new roof at their family kitchen with the Sip Rock Duck fundraiser. Also, a warm chamber welcome this week to my good friend Joe Johns with Assured Partners. Happy to have you on board. Happy Friday. Good News Friday is brought to you by Wessel & Company and First Summit Bank.